in action tonight. The Dallas Mavericks wrapped up their home and home series as they hosted the Denver Nuggets. Dallas walking away with this victory, 97-89. The Mavs got a huge boost as star players Rajon Rondo, Dirk Nowitzki, and Tyson Chandler return to the starting lineup tonight. I think we're in a good place. Uh, I think, you know, uh, we still have to grow uh, defensively. I think offensively, uh, this team has a lot of punch, um, you know, but we still have to grow, uh, you know, on our assignments and, uh, you know, really getting there, battling on the glass. Um, but, you know, I feel like we're in a good place. The Mavs built on their lead, coming out strong in the second half, while the Nuggets trailed all four quarters. Dallas held Denver to 89 points on 41% shooting. For more on the Nuggets, let's head over to Mercedes Owens. Thanks, Lizette. Tonight we saw NBA veteran and ex-Maverick Jameer Nelson make his team debut with the Denver Nuggets. Denver acquired the guard in a Tuesday night trade that sent Nate Robinson to the Celtics. And despite sending a couple of weeks off the court, the vet finished the game as the second best shooter for the Nuggets with 14 points and seven assists. Well, my years, the process of coming and going on the team, I was in Orlando for 10 years, uh, just knowing that it could always happen. You know, when it happened to me, just understand how fortunate I am to continue to play basketball. Uh, fortunate to still be living on my dream and fortunate to be around a, a, a great group of guys. Now the Nuggets entered the game coming off a Wednesday night victory over the Dallas Mavericks in Denver, but they saw a much stronger and well-rested Dallas squad here at the American Airlines Center. Tyson Chandler in the middle, you know, his uh, savvy in being able to help off in the middle, especially if he's guarding a guy that's a non-shooter, uh, basically giving them an extra, extra defender in the middle uh, you know, was, the, was the difference tonight. A strong defensive presence helped the Nuggets gain traction at the end of the third, but a 41% field goal average wasn't enough. We got the shots we wanted. It was like we was forcing shots or anything. They just didn't fall. You got to keep your confidence and keep shooting. For 210 TV and Time Warner Cable Sports Channel, I'm Mercedes Owens. Now let's head back to Lizette. Dirk Nowitzki led the way for the Mavs, scoring 25 points and having another record-breaking evening as he passed Mike Bibby for the 22nd place on the NBA's all-time three-point field goals made list. Chandler Parsons put up 18 points, followed by Monte Ellis's 14 points, and Tyson Chandler finished the night with his 17th double-double of the season, scoring 11 points and 16 rebounds. I thought our defense was solid. Um, I think if we keep uh, the ball out of the paint some as we try with Lawson. Um, we stay even on the rebounds. Uh, we hold the team under 90 points. Uh, I think that's that's a recipe for us to to win at home or on the road. And I thought we, we did a good job. The Mavs are 28 and 13. That's their best start since the 2007 season. They'll head on the road to take on the Memphis Grizzlies, but we'll be right back here next Friday to take on the Chicago Bulls. I'm Lisette Alvarez, and this is D210 TV on Time Warner Cable Sports, and you've just been credentialed.